Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of January 2023. And I'll uh, do the reading thing and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. You can find the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. The overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Pentacles, that talks about stability. In all honesty, I kind of see this reading as you coming out from a place of... Uh, it almost feels like emotional numbness. Not really. Close to that in terms of how I can put it and how, what I see here. Um, but you're creating something here towards coming out of that and building something out of that. Um, so this... Okay stability here starting off the reading you get the knight of swords crossed by the king of wands there you are you know moving forward being like okay i'm determined to do this i'm ready i'm open let's go you know and it's definitely in the direction of opening up your heart more because you're coming from a place where it might have been a little shut down there uh you know in your focus here there's a soul connection that's showing up with the six of cups in the recent past possibly a loss of some sort uh, maybe a breakup, maybe just the energy of loss. Um, in your strength, the Queen of Swords, lots of determination here. Uh, kind of having your mind made up about something. In the potential, potential, not potential. In the immediate future, the Nine of Wands, a little bit of resistance. Uh, supporting this reading, an emotional disconnect. Um... The energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it there is movement here there's a lot of movement i'm not sure how you're taking this in terms of your sense of openness and how you're actually moving forward at least energetically speaking but there's a lot of movement supporting you in this one um the in your hopes and fears the seven of swords uh, th this is more like an energy of abandoning ship kind of like because you may be in this place of feeling like things are moving you may be scared that you know it's for nothing um this could be tied up to your own fear of abandonment in the potential outcome commitment possibly cool let's see let's clarify let me clarify the ten of pentacles Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're getting things done, even if it's hard. And I feel like it is hard. If you don't have that um, emotional support from yourself, where you're being open from your heart, it's going to be difficult. You know, so you're, again, you're kind of bouncing back up into your heart a little bit here. And it's, it's going to be difficult, but you have a lot of determination to do that. You know, um... You're kind of like, I made up my mind, nothing's stopping me. Okay. To create something here for myself, you know. Let's do the Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, there's a commitment involved here. That's the direction in which you're heading. Now, I'm not sure how conscious you are of that. If you are 100% that that's where things are going or... It's just the underlayer aspect of this. Um, hmm, interesting. Very determined in your um, movement and energy here. But that's the direction in which you're going. Let me see the King of Wands. The Three of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Swords. You carry this fear that okay i'm gonna go there i'm gonna get this it's gonna happen we're gonna have it all together all perfect and then someone's gonna bail on this 
you know, either me or them, doesn't even matter. Someone's gonna abandon the situation. That's your abandonment to wound that you carry with you on this path. So you start off pretty strong, pretty open, pretty determined, and then there's something hanging here, you know, kind of like tied up to your shoulder there that pulls you back a little. You may not know what it is, you may not even mind it, you may, you may be like, okay, it's weighing me down, but uh, screw it, I'm still moving forward. But that's your abandonment wound that's there, hanging by your shoulder. Let's do the Six of Cups. In your focus, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot. Beautiful energies here. Because your approach is, you're approaching this situation. I don't even know if there's a person there yet. It's just the energy that's opening up like this for you in terms of, I know what I want and that's where I'm going. You know, um, in terms of love, in terms of commitment, in terms of partnership, you're definitely very much determined um, there. Where I feel like you've gained a lot of clarity over what it is that you want, and that just opened up the path for you that you're actually on right now. Um, again, not sure if the person that you want to do this with is there now, but it doesn't even matter for now because it's the energy of it, and the person is going to show up. Um, but you're going at this from a very interesting perspective, and that is of self-love, putting yourself first. You know? Um, I don't... I see all sorts of speeds to this path, in terms of at times you're showing up in your energy, and it feels good, and it's like, yay. Other times it's slower, other times it's faster, but all of that doesn't seem to bother or affect you in any kind of way in terms of, oh, it's too slow, oh, it's too fast, oh, it's, you know. Um, it's an interesting blend of energies on this path, you know, where I don't see you, it, it's just like healing, it's not linear, you know, it's not going to happen like, oh, okay, we're going to keep the same rhythm. Eh, not really. But it's interesting and it's interesting how you kind of uh <clears throat> blend with these energies kind of mold into what's going on there without any complaints usually when i see an energy slowing down for you um i'm seeing that that aries coming out of me like okay can we make this faster please no no not this time not this time i like this let's do the queen of swords in your strength the Hierophant, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. That's the thing about this emotional connection or disconnection. You can't be selective about it because I feel like that's what you want to do. There's something in the past here that was ripped apart from you possibly and it could be a connection. I'm getting a sense that it is and that's why you probably shut down for a little bit there. Uh, and you, you're kind of telling me Oh, I'm fully open here for what's next. Um, but by the way, towards that energy in the past, I'm not opening up ever again. You can be selective. Either you open up or you don't. Whatever that implies. You know, whatever that brings to you towards the past situation, uh, emotionally speaking. Because if you're selective in the way you're opening up, you're not necessarily honest with yourself, you know? The heart doesn't have degrees of opening up. It's just open or closed. That's it. That's all it knows. You can't be like, nope, quarter of a heart for this, quarter of a heart for that. Or in that. No, it doesn't work like that. Um, so you're kind of showing me you're trying to trick this energy here, being like, yeah, okay. You know, I'm, I'm open, I'm good, I'm yay. By the way, I'll keep myself closed off for the past energy, just in case. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. In the uh, immediate future for the Nine of Wands, you get the Four of Swords, the Tower, the Fool. You do have the, this resistance or this, think of it as walking on this path with a shield you're holding up, right? This shield represents your fear, your abandonment wound. I need to guard myself in case who knows what's, what happens, instead of being fully open. It's kind of like the same thing as partly opening your heart, you know? 
will portion it. No. And if you're going on this path and you fully trust and there's that amount of confidence there and that clarity in what it is that you want, why not trust fully that you're already protected in there? You don't need to bring shields and all sorts of things, you know, and you don't need to show up in there halfway open either. Because you're showing me, yeah, I'm keeping my shield up just in case disaster strikes. Disaster is not going to strike as long as you're focused and clear in your intention. Even if it strikes, you'll know how to handle it. You don't. You don't need a shield. How are these birds surviving this? Like I'm so freaking curious how they do this. There was one that stopped in front of the door. So yeah. Let's do the Eight of Cups and the Supportive Energies. The Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, that's how you can change this, you know, uh, and not live through the emotional disconnect that is caused by your fear of abandonment, by the way. Um, and there's a shift in here, there's a change, and it's standing in this Knight of Swords that actually started your reading. So it's this clear vision that you have over the path of creating something for yourself, something stable, something loving, something nice, with the right person along the way, perfect. Um, so you're stepping into this brand new energy. Now, if you would trust fully in this energy and not um, be selective about how much you're gonna walk, how little, how much you're gonna open up, how little you're gonna, you know, um, as, as again, as long as there's clarity and trust, you're golden, you're protected in this. But I like this, the, the crossing from complete emotional disconnection because of fear of abandonment to um, clarity and pursuing from that place of clarity, pursuing your own happiness, basically, you know? Let's do the chariot. In the hidden energies. Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, King of Wands. Okay, I kind of get where this is going with this energy. Because I'm like, there's a little bit of fast energy that's coming in. And Aries is looking like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I'm like, Aries would never look like that in front of a fast moving energy. Aries is fast. It's kind of like, yeah, let's go. But this is one of those things where I feel like the minute you shift into this whole alignment with yourself and um, the clarity of your goals and the trusting that you reach your goals fully trusting and it feels like everything starts to fall in its place around you where you don't even have to do shit so you may start seeing things that feel right and in perfect resonance with your vibration and when those happen, they might come in fast. I don't know. Left and right, things fall into place. And you're looking at it and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't do that, but I really wanted for that to happen, but it happened on its own and I didn't even participate. You know, that could be the, the little scary factor for you here. Not that, not that the energy is fast, but that things are falling into place faster than you would expect and that might be a little intimidating because i see you working here and you're working with pentacles which is telling me you know one day at a time we're good here we're we're doing our thing and then bam 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 bam, bam you know being hit by all of these things that feel right so you might get a little ooh, what happened here you know like falling into a place of disbelief almost like oh my god this is too good to be true kind of a thing um Let's do the Seven of Swords in your hopes and fears. The Hangman, the Star, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you don't want any more delays, any more stagnation. When it comes to pursuing your dreams, you may look back at your whole life and, be, and probably start to acknowledge the ways in which you, you stopped yourself. You know, a lot of the times, completing your goals. or um, And you're looking like, yeah, I want none of that. 
I want none of that. That's why this energy is showing up quite determined and unstoppable, basically. You know? Really cool. Let's see the Four of Wands in the potential outcome. The Moon, the Strength card, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you don't know you're going there. You don't know you're going uh, towards commitment. The goal as you start this is to create something for yourself, something stable. And if the right person shows up, good to go. And yeah, there might be somebody there, but it's not one of those things where, oh, it has to be them if it's not them. No, the, the bigger goal here is to do something for you first, you know? Um, but I see you heading in the direction of commitment without even knowing. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's a sub goal, you could call it. I don't know, it's feeling good. But let's see what the universe has to close it off. Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, Six of Swords. Very hard to not look outside of yourself by the looks of it, because you have the tendency to look outside of yourself for that validation, for that goal. That goal comes from within you. It's not from outside of you, because I see you being like, uh, but, uh, uh, like really wanting to put all of that energy out. Um, you're on the right track here with it coming from inside, but for some reason you're giving me the feeling that um, maybe you want to put it out too, this energy. And yeah, you can put it out. It's just a matter of where you focus your energy when you put it out. Like, do you take all of this that you're creating within yourself and, you know, barfing it all, all out, being like, okay, let's pursue outside of ourselves now? Um, or do you still work with it internally and, you know, spread it here and there where you feel it's appropriate? Because I feel like for some reason, you're starting to chase it outside of yourself or you have that tendency to chase what you want from something else or someone else. It's almost, almost looking like needing a validation on your side, you know, which you're the only one that can validate this. You know, you don't need that validation from the outside necessarily. Because it gets very, very hard when your energy comes outside in terms of looking for what you want, which is not something that's internal. That's something that only you would know, you know. But when you start putting this energy or responsibility on something outside of yourself, it becomes very hard. This journey becomes very hard. You already have it. You have all the tools, all the determination, all of the everything you need here. The minute you make it someone else's responsibility to give you what you need here, it's going to become difficult and it's going to become just something else. It's not your path anymore, you know? It's yours, but created from an outside source. Um, not this one, this one. Oh, we're done with the universe. Let me do the Shaman's Dream. Whale song resonating. Let's see. There are moments in life when you have a sense of deja vu that you've visited this place, these feelings, this person before, and you know that a new opportunity to dance has come around again. Yet there is a haunting quality to this. A melancholy as life's mysterious fragility is also underlined, like a whale song that pleads for its simple notes to be matched by another. You have a short time to capture the sense essence and let it resonate in a way that is potentially transformative, but only if you don't turn away. There's more to it than that, but I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's like two pages. So <laughs> I usually uh, read to you guys the first paragraph because it kind of catches everything. So, uh, yeah, interesting. So this is your will song. It's not somebody else's, but 
that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.